Okay, let me start this video off by saying that if you are up here to bash anybody for any of the choices that they make because they're on birth control, please just exit out of this video. This video isn't about telling people to go have sex. This video isn't ta isn't talking about people being sexually active or people's religion. This is just about my personal experience with the birth control that I have and possibly the people in the comment section who are interested in this video. So please don't leave your negativity about your religion or about what women should do with their bodies and your killing babies by getting birth control. This isn't what it's about. I don't want any negativity with this. So without further ado, after that, let's start talking about birth control. <laughs> So when I did my period video at 9 years old, or my period experience when I was 9 years old, I mentioned in my video that I no longer get my periods because of the birth control I was on. Now since then, people have asked me what birth control I'm on and can I do a birth control video in the comment section and in my personal email. So I'm going to come up here and tell you guys about my birth control experience, which one I'm on, and why I no longer have a period. So I have to go back to 3 years ago when I first got my birth control which was Implanon. I am now on Nexplanon which is the upgraded version of Implanon but I had already gotten Implanon in me three years ago when it first not when it first came out but it was uh, out when I was getting it and now Nexplanon is something you'll be getting if you take a lot from this video and you decide that you want to get this one. Now for my first one I think I was 17, 17, 18, 19, 20 Yes, I was 17 when I got Implanon, and the doctor had asked me, she gave me a pamphlet, and she asked me to go through it to pick which birth control I wanted, and she said why, which one would be the best for me. I didn't want to do the pill, ugh, I didn't want to do the pill, because I knew I was going to forget. I'm a very forgetful person when I have to do a schedule type of thing like that. I wouldn't, I knew I wasn't going to take it on time, I knew I was going to miss days, so that was just out of the question. And I had a boyfriend at the time, so we were sexually active. Now, if you, I'm hoping this, the people have already exited out the video who are going to judge me for being sexually active with my boyfriend, but it is what it is. I was sexually active with him. I'm just telling the truth, girlfriend. This is a girl's video for people who want to know about birth control. So obviously, if you're getting birth control, you're thinking about being sexually active. So let's not be immature here. So I was sexually active with my boyfriend and my mom didn't want me to get pregnant and I didn't want to be pregnant. I wasn't ready. So I didn't want to do the pill because I knew I was going to forget. I didn't want to get the shot because I think my friend had told me that she had gotten the shot and she had gained weight. I didn't want to gain weight. I was big enough in my eyes as I saw, so I didn't want to do that. And then the patch, I don't know. I think somebody said that the patch made them sick, so I didn't want to do it. And I, I just didn't want anything on me, and still I would have to put it on myself. I would forget, probably keep it on too long one time, or I don't know. I didn't really think a lot about the patch. Now, I think it's called Moringa, the little circular piece that goes inside of your yoo <laughs> And I think somebody, the doctor had told me that it hurts. No, that one wasn't the one that hurts. The one, the Moringa one, I didn't want to get that because it falls out in some instances, so I didn't want to have to be the one to reinsert it. I, it was just too much about stories about it falling out. I wasn't, just, I didn't want to handle it. Then there was another one, which I forget what it was called, but it lasted for 10 years. And I, of course, I wanted that one, but the doctor said that that one's extremely painful and she doesn't recommend or do it to girls who have not had their first child yet. I didn't really think I even wanted kids, so I was like, well, let's do it. She said it's extremely painful. So having known that you've gone through childbirth, you've gone through that ultimate pain, so it's that pain that you would get for this uh birth control wouldn't hurt as much so she said because I, because I haven't had a child yet she doesn't recommend it she didn't want me to go through that pain so Implanon there are other ones but those are the main ones that I remember Implanon was up there and it lasts for three years she told me in Europe it lasts for four and that the Implanon one can last for four years but they just re recommend it in America for girls to get it taken out at three years I got mine taken out I believe in March of 2014 my Implanon one and I got Nexplanon inserted. But I did have some side effects with Implanon. When I first got Implanon inserted in, it's this little flexible rod that goes in right here. You can still see the surgery. It wasn't really a surgery where they uh, cut me open right here. And 
that's where they actually had to take it out of me. But I think they inserted it in the same place they did the three years ago. This is for Nexplanon and Implanon. So it's a small little flexible rod that goes into your arm. When it was inserted in me, she told me that there were a few side effects. You know, you can get uh, dark spots, freckles, acne. I mean, everything has side effects. So I wasn't really scared because usually next to none or one, you'll probably get one side effect from all the ones that have. Unfortunately, I believe I got two of the side effects. One of them I really liked after they fixed it. So what I mean by that is my period when I first got it was I had my period for three months straight when I got Implanon in, in me. I did not go a day where I did not have any blood coming out. So that was a side effect. So I had to go back to the doctor and she gave me some birth control pills. And she said, take this for like a month and then your period should either stop or become normal. I was begging for my period to stop on Implanon, but it, it stopped for a little while. Like I wouldn't get it for a month or a month and a half and then all of a sudden it would come. So my I did have my periods, but they were not regular periods. And then the next one was vaginal dryness. And I know this is awkward and I know this is, yes, just awkward, but I did get vaginal dryness. And that's what my side effects are. Now that Implanon is out of me, and Nexplanon is in me, and I got that inserted in March 2014, as soon as I got it inserted, I no longer had my periods. That's my reaction. I don't have my periods anymore, and I'm so thankful. The boyfriend that I have now, I recommend you still use condoms, but the boyfriend I have now, he is a bit older than me, so... He can't have kids. He has a uh, vasectomy because he already had two children, so he had a vasectomy. But you must still use condoms because no birth control protects you from STDs. So you still need a condom when you have sex, just to be clear. Now, the side effects for Nexplanon are the same side effects as for Implanon. The only thing that affected me with Nexplanon was that I actually got my period taken away. So that's really all about anything I know. It's just a flexible rod that goes into your arm. It lasts for three years and it releases the same type of chemicals. Not chemicals, but I can't really think of the name right now. Or just, yeah, it just releases the same type of thing that other birth controls um, releases to help you not have any kids. But from what I know, Implanon stops the egg from coming out and it also releases some type of discharge or it changes your discharge in your you who and it makes it uh, harder for sperm to travel up like any birth control though it's not 100 percent foolproof i think the statistic for uh implanon or nexplanon is that if there's a hundred women who get it only one woman will probably get maybe get pregnant i mean nothing's foolproof in this world so some some things can happen i'm hoping that it would never happen to me i hope i wasn't blurry the whole time but that really is it to my birth control story um, there's really not a lot of information for Implanon. Um, I'm not a professional doctor, so I can't really tell you everything that goes with it, but I did hit the most important points. But the process of getting taken out, my Implanon, oh my god, it was a complicated procedure in my opinion. They numbed me up, and then they stuck some kind of fat knife in me, and uh, they were trying to squeeze it out into a small hole. This hole right here was what they were trying to squeeze it out. It's much smaller now that it's healing. But it, uh, I guess fat grew around the little rod that I was put in my arm for Implanon. And it was getting stuck in there. So they had to keep applying more pressure into my arm. And it was just so uncomfortable that it became a little bit painful. I was numb, so the full pain that I would have uh, felt if they didn't numb me, it wasn't wouldn't have been like that but I was numb but since they had to pr um, put so much pressure on my arm because they had to get the birth control loose from the fat that had grown around it, it was just so uncomfortable I mean I was on the bed like my legs were kicking I was trying to keep my arms straight and it was just really uncomfortable the way I had to lay on the thing so that she could get it out and it, and it, it was supposed to be a 5 to 10 minute procedure and it ended up turning into a 30 to 40 minute procedure for me it can happen to you, um, I don't know if it happens to a lot of people, if everybody has, she, she just says that it sometimes just slips out and sometimes it doesn't, so unfortunately, my arm decided to be fat and go around the, the birth control. So that really is it, if you guys have any questions about, uh, any more questions about the Implanon that I didn't answer in this video, 
then let me know and um, if you guys want me to talk about any other advice or any other videos that you want me to do, just let me know. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.